For those unaware, a stop loss is designed to allow you to pick how much you are willing to risk with your trade, while a take profit is pretty much the exact opposite. It allows you to set how much you are willing to make as a profit with one trade and close it once you are happy with the amount. But let's see how they work in action. There are quite a few ways to place a stop loss or take profit. Since we have activated one click trading, the pop-up window will not open if we click the buy or sell button in the chart. So click the new order on the toolbar above or any other options from the ones we described besides using the buy and sell buttons on the chart. You can then select stop loss and take profit from here. You can use the arrows or you can delete and manually add the price. You do exactly the same with the take profit. Once you are done, click buy or sell. Now you can see on the terminal window the prices of your stop loss and take profit. Additionally, you will see inside the chart the two red spaced lines which indicate your stop loss and take profit price points. To modify those points, you can either do it through the terminal window, right click on the order, modify or delete, and on the pop up window, you can edit the price or an alternative way is to click and drag the lines inside the chart. To do that, move your pointer to the line until you see the two sided arrow and drag it based on the direction you will like. The price will be seen below on the terminal stop loss and take profit window as well. Another way to set up a stop loss or take profit, and that can happen on an existing order, is by moving your mouse pointer to the order line. Click and drag, similar to what we did earlier, but this time, since there was no stop loss or take profit limit set, we will be creating them from scratch. Trailing stop is one of the most important functions offered by the MT5 platform. It is quite popular among Forex traders as it helps them securing profits or minimizing losses. For those unfamiliar with the term, trailing stop is designed to protect yens by enabling a trade to remain open and continue to profit as long as the price is moving in the investor's favor. For example, for every 10 points that the price moves up, the trailing stop would also move up 10 points. If the price moves up 30 points, the stop loss will also move up 30 points. But if the price starts to fall, the stop loss doesn't move from its last place, and the order will be executed at that price if that met. Now, let's see how it works in action so you can better understand it. To note here that you can put a trailing stop on an open or pending order, but both types need to appear on your terminal window first. So head there, right click in it, scroll to trailing stop and pick the level of risk or better say it, the points you feel comfortable risking. I have picked 30 points. What that means is that as long as the order moves in my favor, this order was a buy order by the way, so as long as the price increases, so does my stop loss which you can always check on the terminal window below. Until my order is in profit, the trailing stop loss function will not appear, but once it turns profitable, it will. Currently, the order I placed is on a loss, but the trailing stop was set, as you can see, a small T symbol on the symbol area of the terminal window is there. As you can see now, it's 30 points away from the current price. However, if the price starts declining, the stop loss will remain the same and if it hits the order, it will close. That way you can always be in control of how much you will risk, but above all, if the market continues to be in your favor, you are securing profits. Thank you for watching our video on MT5. Please like and subscribe. If you want to learn more about the MT5 platform, check our channel for specific videos or watch our full how-to videos that explain in detail how to use and customize your MT5 for both desktop and phone application.